guys, it is Dragonblaze Addict again here today. And today, we are going to do an. Uh, oh my god, I keep hitting my mic in these videos. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we are going to do another update video. I don't know why, but I do like hand gestures when I talk. And y'all can't even see them, so it, it's just the way. I don't know. <laughs> but first thing, y'all probably already noticed it, is Guild Battle. Oh, okay, I did not mean to hit friends. Go away. But yeah, they have changed the guild battle hours. I don't know what the hours are exactly. I haven't went into it, but I know they're... I think... I'm kind of thinking it's all day. I don't know. I don't think they added any new summons. Nope. They didn't add none of that. But they did add some new allies, which seemed pretty cool. They added in a new warrior. It's a DPS warrior. Swing the sword with full vigor, inflicts 340% damage on all enemies, and sends them flying. Cooldown 19.8% 8 seconds, so that's a decent attack. Wait, did I say all enemies? Yes, all enemies. Alright, so that's a good attack. Strikes, strikes the vertical point, inflicts 872% damage on an additional 350% damage on enemies with 50% STA or more. Okay. Uh, that's got potential. It's got a lot of potential. There is no escape from lightning. Quick attacks inflicts 795% damage with 100% accuracy and boosts damage. Oh, that is really good. By 50% per buff and combo attack is an effect. That is a really good one. She might be worth going for. Timorous power emerges in a time of desperation when STA drops below 60%, which is health pretty much, increases attack by 105% and decreases damage received by 80% for 18 seconds. That is really good. A greater danger lies beyond her sword each time the enemy evades. Good. Why do they gotta come up with such weird names? Galil's attack. I I'm just gonna call that. The combo attack buff multiples increase so speed and light damage for 18%. I mean, 18 seconds. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not the like, best out of reading stuff. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. She's right on a freaking, uh, whatchamacallit. I really just said whatchamacallit. Uh, <laughs> Furry is a master of Eden, the forest of internal life, and a friend of all animals. Remove harmful effects for her normal attack. So her normal attack just removes debuffs, and then. Uh, crap. That's Gazelle. Gazelle's the name, I think. I think she's riding a Gazelle. And Blacteria rides a uh, tiger. So why do they got both priests riding animals, man? Faria's magic goes beyond simple healing, restores a party member's HP equal to 673% attack, and increases attack by 94% for 36 seconds. You see, that's good and all, but it's for one ally. So she's healing one ally at a time, and she's got a 16 second cooldown, so she won't be able to heal that fast. A fleeting moment of heavens. I miss the hell that is... The battlefield restores entire party HP per second by, okay, 95% of an attack and for 18 seconds. Alright, now that one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. Cool down 22 seconds. She sharps the powers of the gods with the ready cast of buff on all party members that give 28 immunity and reflects 24% of received damages for 21 seconds. Eh, that's reflects 24% of received damage. So if somebody, so if some, so if they have a really high DPS and they do like this one hit KO thing on her, would she be able to turn that around? I think like almost. Well, not no, because it's only 24%. So she would be like, she would do a decent damage. This makes her be able to do decent damage. 21. Oh, and it's also for 24 seconds. It's 28 immunity. All right, yeah, that's good. Alright, 
she saves the allies from pain depending on the skill. Increase HP recovery by 10%. Alright. She devises death to protect her allies. She, re she receives immunity from death and decreases the damage on all allies by 10%. She doesn't die is what it's saying? I, I think... That is... I, if she doesn't die, then that's OP. I'm just saying. I mean, there's got to be a way to kill her, but yeah. So they added in those angels, and they also added in a few hero allies, which I'm not going to go all over over all these stats. I'm just going to show you. There's a mage, archer, rogue. And another archer. Oh, Wind Loon the Dark. So that's like an upgraded. Where is she? I know I had her. Is she not here? Is she? There she is. All right. Yeah, that's an upgraded Wind Loon. That is. Like she goes from short to tall. Yep, there you go. <laughs> she looks pretty cool. Like that. That bow just looks awesome. I gotta say, there are on these guys, <laughs> for these guys, oh, here's the part that I really like, that's gonna come in handy, raid shop boys, you can buy the red gear, the triple S gear, but you need 20 of these raid, I'm gonna call them raid tokens, I don't know exactly what they're called, incense, Inc incense acquired from a raid, so you can acquire them from a raid. I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know if they randomly drop. Let me see if they're in the drops. Because I'm pretty sure somebody said you get it for every two raids you complete. I don't know if that's true or not because I haven't done any raids. I kind of be trying to, like, push out on the story mode. So, yeah, and... They also raised the level cap up to 70. Just saying. I, I forgot to add that in at the beginning. They made a new area, which... It's not as hard as this area. Like, God, this area was getting on my nerves. Cave 1, I still remember that. Whew. Please. And, yeah. I don't think they added anything new, new. Like, well, that raid shop is awesome. It's going to come in so much handy. Especially if you get an essence for every two raids. Oh, my God. Here, let, let me ask Bad Games real quick. All right, he'll pretty he'll reply pretty fast. They also added a new level 70 gear set, which I can't show y'all yet, cause I'm not level 70 and I have not unlocked the raid by completing raids like one per one per what? He doesn't finish his sentence, man. Like, one per every raid or what, dude? Like, finish your sentence. Um, and since they did also add in the level 70, you can go and get... If I can find it, 300 rubies for reaching level 70. So that's awesome. Okay, guys, I'll, I'll just leave it in the description of the video, but this is your Dragon Blaze here, and I'm out. Oh, yep, alright, so he said one per every raid. Oh, wow, so that's, that's, do 20 raids and you get a free triple S. That's actually really good. I, I know how I'm going to get my triple S, because these drops hate me. And they are raid Pacific. Alright, so you can't go, like, you can't go into, oh my god, quit double clicking. You can't go into a uh, freaking normal mode and do freaking Komodo Fairy, then go over to Chapter 2, go to whatever raid is up here. I don't remember the name of it. I watched a live stream, but I don't remember the name of it. 
and then get stuff from that. So you can't do Komodo Fairy 20 times and then come over here. So it's Raid Pacific. So that's really good. But yeah, so this was Dragon Blade's Attic here. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. And I'm out.